Hi, good morning guys. This is Ness. So for today, I will be sharing with you the planter that I typically use for my plants. And I hope you guys like this video and please do subscribe to my channel. So aside from using a regular terracotta pot, just like with this one, I also use ceramic pot like um, this one for my forgetty eye. I have a ceramic pot that has a saucer. So it's a matching saucer. This one is one of the small planter I got when I went to Goodwill the other day. So this one, it's a very nice ceramic pottery um, that has some flower design and I really really like this one that's where my dragon scale is right now and right now my dragon scale is giving me a new shoot right there yep or sometimes I also use a clear vase like this one for my propagation bottle or sometimes I use them for my LECA so it'll be easier for me to see how the root system is growing and I also gravitate on getting some pottery like this one it has some glazing so as you can see it has a different color at the bottom so the gradient is there and this is my moonlight oh no is it moonshine philodendron moonshine this is another one of my favorite pot that looks like modern and that's where my super atom is i get that design And then I also have four of this one. This is just a, I would say this is a cup, but there's like a design like that, like a flower design. And I use this as a cash bowl for my cuttings of Hoya. So they are perfect as a cash bowl like that. Sometimes I also use um, this kind of planter. It has some um, clear, clear water reservoir, and this is my saltipicana together with my Cebu blue photos. So with this one, this um, is just a propagation from my Cebu Blue. And I also have the Mama for my Monstera Saltipicana. But it's been growing here, so I just combined them both. And I think that they've been loving this planter so much. Sometimes I even use like this one. I found it this in an antique store and it has some cute uh, pottery design and it's a picture. But I made use as a cash pot for my skeleton key plant. And it's been growing a lot. Like look at that sh new growth right there. Sometimes I also have like a matching um, Redan um, planter like this. I'm sorry about the mess, but that's how it is, like, like right here. So this one, I think, this is a cute planter too. So there's supposed to be a vase 
at the middle of this planter but I decided not to put it and use it as a clear vase for my leka. And this is my reverted um, Philodendron Pink Princess. Oh, I also have, these are some of my planters, just a polka dot one. And I also have a few of my Chinese planter. It's like a Chinese ceramic pottery. And this is my confetti, my Synchonium confetti. So, yep. Those are the planters. And for some of my propagation, I also use just a clear cup like this. This is a Tree Kings, Synchonium Tree Kings. Hopefully it'll survive. And this is another Japanese, oh no, Chinese planter ceramic pot. I've been using and I was so shocked because my aglonema right here is giving me the flower I think that's the flower bud okay. I'll show you it's right there it's a flower bud I don't know if I'm gonna take it off because they said that when you see that you have to take it off or else it will take all the energy for the from the leaves so this is my wayeri eye and it just keeps giving me new leaves on this side I also love like a basket type of planter like this one and oh like this one I think I purchased this on my Goodwill trip the last time I went I saw this vintage basket weaving and it's really good for plants And the last one that I've been loving is this planter. This one is so nice. I just repotted this gorgeous Monstera Peru in a bigger pot that I just recently purchased the last time I went to Goodwill. I think this is a mid-century type of ceramics and What's so nice about it is the saucer is already included. I also scored one of this planter that has a drawing, like a painting on a terracotta pot. This is one of favorite of mine as well. You might think that this is um, a basket, but no, it's made out of um, ceramic. So that's where I have my moonshine. Okay guys, um, that's it for now. That's all I have and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys in advance. Bye-bye.